Ya hemos llegado al strand de Blizzard, eh, hemos podido jugar un poquito o ver más bien jugar al Diablo 3, su expansión, Reaper of Souls, mientras hablábamos con sus creadores. Eh, nos han comentado un poquito mientras jugábamos, pues nos han ido respondiendo a preguntas a, varias, a varios periodistas, a mí y a, y a unos cuantos más. Entonces, nada, le hemos podido preguntar, que, que les hemos podido preguntar sobre el sistema de luteo, nos lo han explicado un poquito otra vez, por si no había sabido de él, lo de que caen menos objetos pero son mejores. Nos ha explicado también un poquito el sistema nuevo de Parangon, que se reiniciará, bueno, que se reiniciará y todos los que hayamos conseguido con los personajes, pues será para un los podremos repartir entre todos los personajes, todo el que hayamos conseguido, no hará falta que repartamos ni nada, o sea, tú conforme vas ganando, para empezar es ilimitado y puedes poner lo que ganes en todos los personajes. Eh, también habrá diferentes, o sea, se va a diferenciar cada característica de este sistema en diferentes, o sea, ataque, defensa, todo muy bien estructurado. Luego también nos ha hablado un poquito pues, del cruzado, de la nueva clase, nos han dicho, bueno, les, le he preguntado que si le parecía un poquito anecdótico, un, como un regalo para los fans de Diablo 2, tiene dos habilidades que sí que son, vienen del paladín de Diablo 2 y luego el resto son completamente nuevas, eh, tiene una habilidad que de hecho nos dice que es un, un melee y que le interesa estar en, el medio, en medio de la batalla porque lo que hace es aprovecharse de cuanto más enemigos tienes alrededor, pues más eh, el tiempo de enfriamiento se reduce y más ataques puedes hacer. Entonces es un, es un personaje que está creado para la acción. También le hemos preguntado que si estas pistitas que iban dejando caer sobre Malciel y sobre el, la localización que que luego tenemos en Reaper of Souls, si había empezado desde hace mucho en este DLC, sí. Todos los que hayáis jugado Diablo 3 en el acto 3, en el acto 4, tenéis unos pequeños detalles que nos indican que sí, que esta expansión pues, iba a suceder tal como está. También nos ha hablado un poquito de Malciel, del enemigo final. Eh, les ha hecho mucha ilusión, ellos dicen, el poder salir de tanto demonio que nos ataca tal, tal, y los ángeles ahí arriba como sin hacer nada y convertir a esos ángeles en tus enemigos. Les ha gustado mucho la experiencia de hacerlo. Y por último le he preguntado que si veríamos más contenido para Diablo 3, eh, claro, al llegar a nivel 70 y me ha dicho que bueno, probablemente, quizá se han ido un poquito por las ramas, también lo tenemos que entender, no ha salido ni Reaper of Souls, pero bueno, si queréis ver todo lo que hemos dicho no tenéis más que ver la entrevista que tenemos a continuación. Yeah, and there's lots of hints about Westmarch as well uh, throughout Act 3. Yeah, in Act 3, all of the soldiers in Bastion's Keep oh. are actually from Westmarch. The city of Westmarch sent them yeah. to help defend. So, so yeah, we, we planted some seeds here and there. Your father, your companion, the Templar, is from the city of Westmarch. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you can talk to the Templar about Westmarch from, I think, as early as Act 1. <laughs> We've wanted to come to Westmarch for a while. Um, But uh, also, Malthel has definitely been a big part of the Diablo universe. Well, a very quiet part, but an important one um, for a very long time. So um, even the fact that if you look in the, the Book of Cain, you know, that, that yeah. came out a long time ago, um, uh, they talk about him disappearing. And he went off and nobody knows where he is, right? And so that was setting up the stage for him to, to come back now. He has become death. What hero doesn't want to fight death itself? You like him developing him as your enemy? Oh, absolutely. Um, I think it's a really huge thing that we've got this different villain now, this different enemy to fight. Um, in Diablo, you've always fought demons, and angels have just been this race that was aloof, you know, far away and didn't care, and maybe a few nice ones like Tyrael. Um, but now, suddenly, there are angels in the streets killing people. And it, it's going to change everything. So, and I mean, who doesn't want to fight the angel of death, yeah. right? And setting him up as a villain, um, when he disappeared, he was the leader of the angels forever until he disappeared somewhat recently. 
recently, and Imperius took over, when major characters disappear, they don't tend to come back with a bunch of gifts from their travels, a <laughs> t-shirt for you, yeah, uh, tan, from invested in happy, right. yeah. <laughs> Something bad is going on. Yeah, he disappeared and no one knew where he went. So he was trying to figure out a problem, um, and the problem was humanity. Humanity is born of angels and demons, and as far as he's decided, um, and that's what he went off to discover is, well, that means they're half demons, so they must be wiped out as well. So right. as far as Malthale's concerned, he wants a universe in which only angels exist, and then he'll be happy. And once, yeah, once we wipe out the humans and hunt down the last straggling demons out there, because now that the, the hero in Diablo 3 got rid of the prime evil, right? Then, you know, now we just have to wipe out the humans and the eternal conflict will be over. Frankly, Malthale is very worried about how powerful humans have become because of the hero, because he's scared. Because they can, the if they can kill the prime evil, because of the Nephilim, yes. If, if they can kill the prime evil, and he's never been able to do that, uh oh. Uh -huh. yeah. New powerful system? Sure. Um, well, the first thing about it is that it now has no limit. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, so you can, you can keep getting more and more Paragon points, and um, you're able to put them into um, very specific categories so that you can, you can increase your stats or you can um, increase your uh, attack characteristics or your defense and then there's some utility that you use for adventuring mode. like you can keep putting points into making yourself run faster right which doesn't necessarily help you in all combat situations but just running around the world it's nice right run speed is always good um, and the other thing is that it's account wide so once you start gathering those those paragon points on one class, then you're going to have access to them in all your like a level one that you just roll. You can use those paragon points. Yeah, I mean it's it's a generous solution to the problem, and the problem in this case is that if somebody spent a lot of time getting paragon levels, they find it hard to go and play their other characters because they've sunk so much into their one main character. We like the variety in the game. We like that we have six classes. And we want people to try more characters. So granting them paragon everywhere means that no character uh, playtime can be considered wasted to somebody who's trying to grind paragon. You'll still keep gaining that experience. So is this new character considered like a little recent for all the other two fans? Uh, partly, yeah. I mean, Dark Paladin is was one of the basic ideas of him, but he's taken a life of his own, and he only has two Paladin abilities from Diablo 2. Um, the one we're showing is Fist of the Heavens, and the other one is Blessed Hammer. You fans might want to know that one, especially the ones that were into hammer bins, as they were called. <laughs> um, and all his other abilities are new. Some of them are reminiscent, like he has the laws. Instead of auras, he has laws. Um, and they work something like the Mantras of the Month. They have a passive ability. Uh, in which case, uh, the, the Spa of Valor. Do you want to mouse over that one? Just a second. We have one example for you. Right, so whenever you deal critical damage, uh, or critical hit, you get extra damage for a while, but it also has an active ability, so when you want to use it now and then, with the refresh, you always get the passive, but you can also use it to do extra damage up front as well. And there's four different laws, um, and uh, many of them also affect your party members, which makes them a good co op uh, and that's similar to Auras, with different mechanics um, from the Paladins. Yeah. Is there a last uh, question? I think. Uh, the level goes up to 70. That means we are going to see new content for the other three in the future? Or not? Sorry, new, new content in the future? Yeah. Well, uh, maybe, uh, probably. Uh, if you guys want it, as yeah. fans, and you're still hanging around, let's do it. Yeah. I mean, the, the one thing I can say with certainty, just because this is what Blizzard does, is is certainly after we release this, we'll be supporting this for a while and patching and you know, and yes. and many of the patches that come out are so big that they almost qualify as new content you know, in my mind. So, um, so certainly there will be more to come after the expansion comes out in that sense, right? And then as to you know, content content, well, as Kevin said, it's a few guys. <laughs> Let's wrap this up first. Okay, we are sold out. Yeah, yeah. Then I'll talk about it. I think people will be pleased. Oh, good.